Parisian is secured and the berries are turning purple. So it's time to find out how they're developing as far as their sugar and acidity. So I'm going ahead and taking a sample of about 100. Um, since I have about 11 rows of Tempranillo, I'm going to pick about nine berries uh, from each row at representative places from the cluster. So I would take some from up here, some in the middle, some at the bottom. But this one's not very well developed. This one is actually a little bit better. But by getting this sample, I'll get some idea as to what the current uh, sugar levels are. So I'll just kind of walk down here from cluster to cluster, find one, and take this one, and keep going until I've gotten about 100 berries all throughout uh, the vineyard. As I go through here taking my sample, I'm also taking an opportunity to take some of these green chicks and just pull them out. Now, if we had 10 acres here, there's no way I would do this. But it's turned into such a lovely evening after being 99 degrees this afternoon. It's just dropped down to about 70. And it's really nice to be out here. But So I'm just pulling a couple of these things. I don't want to get those into the wine. Boy, look at this bunch. It is just not well developed at all. You see all the green undeveloped grapes right there. And yet... They have the rest of the vine. That doesn't look too good. And yet the row is is pretty good. Yeah. What were you saying? Huh? Do you want to get the stick? Yeah? Do you want to get a stick? Where's the rabbit? Is the rabbit there? Go get the rabbit. Where's the rabbit? Go get him. Good boy. Okay, he's gone. Come on. This plant is doing pretty well and seems to be well balanced. But I can't help when I come along here and I see some weeds down here. So we'll go ahead and pick those. I irrigated today. The vines were showing a little bit of stress, but we're gonna definitely be cutting back on the water right now to help these berries get ripe. We're gonna cut back, but we're not gonna cut it off. And we're gonna monitor it uh, closely to give the plant enough water to survive. Uh, but we'll also keep an eye on the berry development. What do you got there, boy? What do you got? Was there a rabbit there? Okay. When we trimmed the vines, uh, we gathered up some of the uh, shoots uh, into piles, and you can see the leaves are already drying. Well, this is really good organic matter, so we're leaving this pile here in the vineyard. Uh, in the past, the queen would have swept it up uh, or vacuumed it out of there, so the vineyard would be spotless. But all this organic matter is actually quite, quite good for the vineyard. Uh, and so we're trying to get those leaves, you know, back into the soil and take those organic nutrients uh, so they can come up into the vines again in future years. Look at this green cluster right here. It's very well formed, but it's totally uh, green, especially when you look at everything else down the row here. And I suspect what's going on is that all of the, the energy of the vine was going into growing some long shoots and bull canes. So what I hope is gonna happen is we've, we've just trimmed these back. So hopefully now more of the energy will go into these grapes and develop them. Uh, if not, I mean, these guys are really, really far behind. I'll have to go ahead and drop them unless they hurry up and ripen up. But anyway, we'll keep an eye on that. And uh, we'll also keep an eye on next year when we visit some of these vines that are like this, uh, we'll try and keep them balanced so they develop fruit at about the same time, the same pace. The net is pretty open here and it looks like a bird has gotten in. Uh, you can see a number of the berries are like pecked open right around there. So this is the kind of damage that we're trying to prevent. I'll go ahead and seal this up much better right now. There's a hole right here and we'll see if we can keep this bird out. I've got my sample of about 100 berries. So what I'm going to be doing right now is uh, crushing the bag to get some of the juice out and then I'll get the hydrometer to measure the sugar content. Now fortunately this time of year uh, so far there are not a lot of yellow jackets around. Um, at other times of the year when the berries are more ripe there could be a lot of bees so you need to be really careful when you stick your finger up there picking those grapes. All right, I'm going to use two hands on this right now. Okay, so right now, I'm squeezing the berries. You can see the juice is coming out right there. So I've got a good, a good sample here. There'll be plenty for the hydrometer. 
I don't know if you can get a good close-up of this or not. Here it is. Whoa! So here's what the sample uh, looks like right now. And the result? It came in exactly at 15 bricks. It's a lovely summer sunset in the vineyard. Good time for a glass of wine.